Hello, friends. First and foremost, I want to thank the Dover Senators and the Dover community for allowing me to document the wild ride that was the Senators 2019-2020 campaign. This is the product of countless hours of hard work, but it's a project that I've been very, very passionate about. I hope this accomplishes two things. First and foremost, that you enjoy it. Secondly, I hope this illustrates the power of local sports to tell some pretty incredible stories. Enjoy. To appreciate where we are, let's start at the very beginning. I'm using my chills. The 2018-2019 season was a spectacular one for the Dover Senators as they went undefeated throughout the regular season. And we had fun. And playoffs. Two years ago, no one really supported us like that. It was a great feeling, you know, we can bring the whole city together, have, you know, younger kids live up to us. At the end of the day, yeah, we did kind of feel like we were invincible. Then came the state championship. against the Sanford Warriors, the team that went undefeated against Delaware competition. You know, a lot of pressure going into that game, but we knew we could, you know, we knew we could do it. There's a lot of emotions going on. It was a back and forth game, with neither team giving up an inch. We all played good. There were three seconds left. Down by three. Eden Davis launched an equalizer. It's like we fell short. That was not to be. Yeah, I, I can really describe it. Just, you know, it hit, hit us hard, it hit me hard, and personally. Just uh, I was so proud of them. That I'm proud of them. I'm proud of the effort. The way they represented their community, their families in the school district. And I just told them we just didn't finish the job. We're just a few, few, few seconds away from finishing the job, but they should be proud of what they've done and how they brought the city together. Well, we knew we should have won. It was just, it was right there. It was just, I don't know. We just bottle it up, use it as fuel over the summer and work out and on our circuits that we play on and just grind and just finish strong so make sure we can finish and win it. Fellas, we waited 365 days to come back to this club. Hey. That one, 24 and one, the one sticks in my head a lot. The one. I didn't finish the job for the city. And uh, to get him on such a high, um, I felt like I let everybody down. It's, it's a chip on all our shoulders. We got to get back to where we, where we didn't finish. Yes, Mark. The season is here on Wednesday. That means I only get 25 more games with Eden Davis. That's it. I only got 25 more games with Eden. I only got 24 more games with these. 25. Yo, I want to I want to soak it up every day and, and, and enjoy every day. I get to And now heading into 2019, the Senators return most of their core group. Eden Davis, EA Elijah Allen, Jaheem Spencer, and Wanye Wise looking to get a shot at redemption. They attacked me. I felt like, we like I let everybody down. down. And a lot then they show Elijah with them eyes all red. Then they show Parker with his eyes all red hugging him. And then we said we got 365 days to get back to where we're at. So now, what's your excuse now? And now, the starting lineup for your Dover Senators. You're back right now. Back. It's business again. What's going to be the difference this year and last year? 
What I want is that hard-nosed 32 minutes of basketball. You Nothing in life is accomplished without what? Hard work! And what? Enthusiasm. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. Four, five, six. Ten. Team that is the church trend. Get up. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody EA's a thousand points? Yeah, well, I care about W's. <laughs> The next game, we got Milford tomorrow, so we'll handle that. Another conference game, Milford on the road, hostile environment. Uh, young guys haven't been there before. Everybody's going to give us their A games. We got to prepare it. Looking for an out-of-state challenge, the Senators traveled up north to the 76ers Fieldhouse in Wilmington, the home of the NBA G League Delaware Bluecoats, to take on Shipley. And assistant coach Jason Wolford had an apt historical metaphor for the Senators. Bluecoat facility! When the British tried to take it from the Bluecoats, the commander said, don't shoot till you see the whites of their eyes. Let's go! We're not here to be cute. We're here to dig in. Handle your business. This team is in our way. All night long, humble and hungry, grinding, grinding, grinding on them boards. Back it up, son. Back it up, the street. Where you at? A great start, and it's going to be a roller coaster ride. But I'll say, buy your tickets. They have overcome some really tough stuff uh, in the past two years. Recently just lost my uh, one of close friend of mine, Troy. I've had the privilege of bringing you stories of the resilience and fortitude of the athletes that call this peninsula home. No one exemplified those characteristics more than Troy Haynes, who yesterday, after a long battle with cancer, passed away. How much has Ballin helped you overcome the loss of your cousin? Um, it helped me a lot. Like, when I hoop, I just play for them. That's all. Like, I just, for me, all that just gets off my mind. As I'm playing, I don't really think about it as much. I just play basketball. I do it for him, and I do it for my friend Cortland, too. I lost him as well on, the, on this journey. You know, I grew up with him. He was one of my best friends growing up. So I do it for all of them. Just got to keep them with me so they live through me. We do get a bad rap. Uh, we have a tough community. Seems to be getting tougher uh, as time goes on. Things happen out there, but we're hoping for that two hours that we can bring some unity to our city. Most have overcome uh, quite adversity in their lives to be where they are today, which I think is what makes them so special. We love Dover, we love our city, and, and we can't wait for you guys to celebrate with us when we bring this first one home. Nothing in life is accomplished without what? Hard work. And what? Enthusiasm. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. Four, five, six. Hey. Let's go. Have a day, boys. Let's go. Here. 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 Week two posed the biggest challenge so far for the Senators. A matchup with the team. That put on a dominant performance in week one. The Smyrna Eagles. Shoot it! Shoot it! The Senators started strong. Hey, let's rebound. Let's keep on closing out like you've been closing out. Rebound! But due to sloppy play after the half. Yeah, it's right there, yeah! Timeout! 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 
Hey, yo, man, we ain't running nothing, man. When you get down like this, you play a team game. Dover would find themselves trailing for the first time in the season. Oh, let's go! Push the ball up the court. Let's go, go. But thanks to a late rush, And an eagle mistake. 13! 13! The Senators would continue their undefeated run. We're 4 0. We're 3 0 in the conference. We got a chance to be 5 0 next time. Next up was Polytech, a team that put up little resistance against the Senators. But despite the convincing win, Coach Wilson demanded more with the goal of the state championship in mind. We got, a, we got unfinished business from last year. No, we got unfinished, unfinished business. business. We can't do it the way we're doing it right now. That's the mentality we have to have, you know, in order to get to the championship. Because, you know, every team's going to come at us hard. We just want to, you know, gotta have that mentality to get back to play hard. Because we know every team's going to come at us even harder than, you know, but previous years. In gym, I used to go crazy, like, because I was about, like, the tallest kid in, my, in William Henry Middle School. Basketball is, like, it's, I love it, but that's not all I'm about. I love helping out, like, senior citizens. Like, my grandma, before she passed, she was in a nursing home, and just watching, just being able to, like, help people, knowing that, like, they can't get up or they can't move how they want to move, just giving them an extra hand just warms my heart. Uh, my name is Brendan Parker, and I am a Dover Senator. Uh, I started playing basketball, and, like, Second grade, a coach came to me out of my neighborhood, and I was at the basketball court playing, and he told me that they had like a little organization, AAU type team, and he asked me did I want to play, and I told him I did. When they go try out, ever since then I've been playing basketball. Javon Peace, and I am a Dover Senator. Looking forward to the matchup, looking forward to being able to, you know, represent Delaware. You know, I think it's going to be a good environment for our kids. I think it's going to be a chance for us to showcase our program as well as showcase this program. There's going to be a lot of talent on that basketball court that night. Heading into the winter break, Dover prepared to partake in a series of showcase games. First up, the Senators traveled south to Salisbury for the Governor's Challenge to take on the best team in the Bayside Conference. The Y High Indians. Let's go. Hustle out there. Let's go. Dover dominated from the opening whistle. Early in the first quarter, Eden Davis suffered an ankle injury. He played through the pain. As the Senator Show rolled on. Sacrifice today for your teammates. That's a victory that our team, our team earned that. We got cats willing not to play in their hearts out. That's hurt. I just wanted to, you know, get in there, help my teammates and come out with a win. You got to be tough to play this game. You got to go out there, you got to go hard every time you play. Next up was slam dunk to the beach, a high school basketball tournament that brings elite ballers to Delaware with scouts like Patrick Ewan and Roy Williams in attendance. <laughs> Dover and the reigning state champion Sanford were looking to test themselves against elite out-of-state competition. The Senators would take on Eleanor Roosevelt from Maryland in their first showcase game. Without Eden Davis, Elijah Allen stepped up. Be ready when your number is called. It's strong. It's strong. It's strong. Pushing himself to the point of exhaustion. Little by little. Dover's lead would slip away. And they would not recover. As Dover suffered their first loss of the season. Damn, man. We 
got what it takes. And you gotta believe that. It's the little things that we do in practice. It's those little things. It's now we got a basketball in our hand because it's the last 10 seconds and we don't wanna finish our, our free throw drill. And we're tired a little bit. I told you I'm giving you all I got. Till the day I leave, I'm giving you everything. But you gotta give it to me too. You gotta go a little bit, a little bit harder. A little bit harder when it's crunch time. Don't behind, don't bail out and take 55 footers. And I'm not talking about his shots. No, I take my No, man. no, that's nah, not. Nah, what I mean is yo, when we get the team, this is my team. Other than yours, this is my team. And I took bad shots, so I'm taking the blame on the L tonight. Got to. I got to. Nah. Free I'm, not, I'm not taking on my shoulders. I'm just saying free as a leader, as a leader of the team, I'm, I'm taking on my shoulders tonight. That's we, me. We, we need you I ain't right need this. I ain't need this. That's that's it. Because you could do it, you only can do so much on the side. I gotta be the man on the court. My my man was down, we didn't pick it up for him. We good. Be back at it tomorrow. Yes, sir. Respect. Everybody take a lunch, bro. Yes, sir. Right, I arrived there earlier, you know, get this bump in the road now. So when, when it comes down to the end, to the long run, you know, when the playoffs come, we don't let up on the gas in the fourth quarter, you know, we just keep pressure. But they rebounded nicely against Cape Antelope in their second scrap. We came back a lot stronger mentally, physically. We just and we just got got the dub. I'm from New Jersey. I played high school basketball in New Jersey. I, um, one of the three people in my school history to score a thousand points. I came back to Dell State and uh, I lived with the guys and I ended up coaching. Um, I ended up being a coach while I was in school. From there I ended up becoming the youngest head coach in Division One at Dell State. I became the head coach at Dell State and then I ended up uh, coming home to you know, be at the Senators where I've been here for the last 11 years and I wouldn't change it. Stephen Wilson and I am a Dover Senator. I was actually a football player, like all oh, die out football player until like seventh grade, summer, going into eighth grade. I had uh, started playing AU for a team and I got into basketball. I am a game freak. I am, and I have free time. I'm either Fortnite, Call of Duty, Madden 2K, I'm a game freak. Dimery Overton, and I am a Dover Senator. Hold on, y'all remember Eleanor Roosevelt? Yeah. Came out flat. You did. Can't do it. We were up. You can't do it. With the memory of their soul to feed on their mind. Dover would return to conference play against their biggest rival. It's a cross town rival. Like it's a lot, of, it's a lot of emotions when we play them because they want to win, we want to win. Well, only one of us gonna come out on top. The crowd's all, the atmosphere is always there, you know. The crowd's going crazy, but we just you know, like Dover does. We just got to give everybody a show. Caesar Rodney. to get back into this game. Exactly. They're going to track a lot of threes. Despite a rider onslaught of threes. <laughs> Senator Core capitalized on the rider's mistakes. an important win over their crosstown rivals. I thought as I'm looking at yo, we should be, everybody should be smiling and happy right now, fellas. You just beat your crosstown rival. You've not beaten them for three straight years. We got one more time and we got to see them. And it will not be easy there. But we got a lot of games before that. We got to control our own destiny. You know, it's always good when you can beat your rival. This is the senior's last time playing in at, at Dover. So we always like to make that special. Well, only one of us going to come out on top. We came out on top today. Played college ball at, uh, in Texas. Then I transferred to the Delaware State University. Played overseas in Ireland and Spain. And traveled the world with the world famous Harlem Grove Charters. Do you still remember how to do any of the tricks? I don't know. I I I, I wasn't uh, the best at that. I, I I was a shooter. Coach Darian Stretch Robinson, and I am a Dover Senator. I love basketball. I love sports in general, and I believe that any time 
teaching is being given, something can be learned. That in the game of life, through sports, through any sport that is related to teaching, I believe you can learn something every day. Jason J. Wolford and I am a Dover Senator. Week five started out with the Senator show in full effect against Polytech. And you gotta get better. And you gotta understand, I'm gonna keep that harping on that until the final closure sounds, and we got a win. And Sussex Central. <laughs> Dover capped off the week with another trip to the 76ers Fieldhouse. And the resolve would be tested more than ever against a top-ranked Pennsylvania team, Cardinal O'Hare. Simple mistakes paid negative dividends as Dover was down by 12 at the half. In order for you to make it into a big-time championship environment, these are the games you've got to dig down and take. If you give me one more gear, everybody, I promise you, you'll be right back in this basketball game before the third quarter is up. At first, the Senators struggled. You gotta get a more! There's nothing for you to see! More! But little by little, Dover clawed back in it. I started when I was like seven years old. My dad just put a ball in my hands when I was like four though. But I didn't start playing like organized organization basketball until like seven. My name is Terrence Voss and I am a Dover Senator. Actually it was at the park my cousin taught me. I didn't really know how to play, but he showed me how to shoot. It was really underhand like this at first, but then I just kind of taught myself. I always been a self, I always teach myself how to do a lot of things, so that's how it really came about. What would Coach Wilson do if he, if he caught you trying to shoot grannies in the game? <laughs> Probably made me run. <laughs> I want to be a mechanic, because I, I want to know how to fix a car, so I don't have to be stuck anywhere ever. That's yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. My name's Sean Mary Nelson, I'm a Dover Senator. Week six started against Sussex Tech, a team that was undefeated at home. We came out a little lap.
We have to withstand the runs early, make sure that we protect the basketball, limit them to one shot, handle the pressure that they were going to do. We went over it, and I think we did a good job of that tonight. And they were undefeated at home, not no more. Next up was a rematch against the Smyrna Eagles, a team that was looking for revenge. I can't wait, man. I don't have a whole lot of words to say about it. I just, I've been reading. I've been seeing a lot of things being said. So Friday was 7 o'clock, we get to handle on the basketball court. That's all I want to do, be able to play basketball. After a slow start, they were down by 7 at the half. Down 7, y'all act like we losing, we down by 40. Fix your demeanor. It's 0-0 zero, zero right now. We took their punches, now it's time to come out swinging. But what ensued was an absolute war. Gets us ready for the uh, for the for our playoff run that we're gonna have. Come here up here soon, so you know it just builds us and gets us stronger. My sister put a basketball in my hand. I just started dribbling, practicing, and then from then on, I just started playing ever since. A young baby, you know, sleeping with a basketball in my bed. Um, there's even times in the winter time I had a basketball court. My dad got me, and I'll be shooting outside in the snow with my gloves on, my hat on, and my boots. Eden Davis, and I am a Dover Senator. Like, I was sitting on stands and they needed another player just to run fives. And now when I got on the court, he said he liked me and I just started playing basketball. <laughs> dunk it the, uh, the best. And then with my teammates, you feel me, when they hyped me up after I dunk it. <laughs> my name is Johnny Smith and I am a Dover Senator. The Senators would enter a four game home stretch. First against Milford. During halftime, there was a special surprise for the managers of the Dover basketball team. Their sister, Michelle Rios, an airman in the U.S. Navy, came home for the first time in nearly a year. But the final score was no surprise as Dover came out on top over Milford. Trying to solidify our bench right now for this stretch, um, plus also give some of the young guys, some of the older guys, rest, and I think it's helping us out a little bit. Next up was Cape Henlopen. An easy win for the Senators. First things first, we're worried about trying to clinch the division in the next couple days, either today or Friday. So that's a key for us right now. But uh, just to get us in sync for this next for this run, you know, we have some quality games coming up that we have to make sure that we prepare for and uh, perform at the highest level we can. Now a challenge from the Woodbridge Blue Raiders awaited the Senators, and while they were momentarily pushed. Take a charge! Dover would not relent en route to victory. But the Senators would stumble hard against an opponent that posed little threat to them in the regular season. Sussex Tech. saw all the conversations my brother was having here as a as a senator and how college is looking at him. It just 
you know, you could get in the gym more with basketball. So it really started like my seventh grade year when I got to middle school. And I was like, I started on a middle school team. So it all started then in middle school. Just my hobby is taking care of my mom, taking care of my family. Uh, I say play, playing the game, so I play the game a little bit, play a little bit of 2K. So I cook, I'm good at cooking too. Elijah Allen, and I am a Dover Senator. I was introduced to basketball when I played Little League at, back in Philadelphia. My nickname is Pop Pop because my gray hair. I'm Elijah Sessoms and I am a Dover Senator. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. They outplayed, they outplayed us that day. You know, the better, the better team that day won. After the stunning loss, the Senators traveled to their crosstown rivals' home court, looking to clinch the division title. This exclamation point. Dover secured the Henlope in North Division title. Y'all are the first ones to give me that back to back. I'm back to back. 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 That makes this team back to back. Division champions. The first time I've ever had that in my career. I'm proud of them and happy for them and what they've done. We're going to keep going. We ain't, it ain't over yet either. So just watch out. We're coming even stronger, harder. Just watch out for us. From Buffalo, New York, um, started coaching here at Dover High back in uh, 96. Um, started out uh, varsity, I'm sorry, started out with the freshman team, then moved up to JV and associate uh, or assistant varsity coach as well. Randall Fogan and I am a Dover Senator. My friends, it was, we all were outside one day. We were all out the basketball court, just picked up the ball, started playing. I was about maybe 10, 10, 11. I'm a character, I'm funny, I'm a comedian. Do you want to do comedy? You want to get into acting? Nah, nah, I can't. I can't. Well, I'm going to show you. guys just come to the game. I'll show you a little, a little something after the game. I am Wayne Wise, and I'm a Dover Senator. The Senators' clash against Del Castle was about more than clashing with an out-of-conference team. It was the last time the seniors would play a regular season game at home. Big man, when you go in the game, play physical and then you get there. Now we now it's one and done. Yo, we talked for a year about getting back to this spot. 
you put yourself into the same situation that we were in last year. The same situation you were in last year. I couldn't ask for a better outcome than for the seniors to go off like that and to play with the fans in there and all the coaches around. So I'm pleased. I'm pleased. Back when I lived in Georgia, I used to be a baseball player until I was like in the sixth, fifth or sixth grade. And after that, I just started loving basketball. Just used to stay up and just watching basketball all night. Last year when I went to Sussex Central, I, uh, I had to buy a ticket to the state championship game. And I just remember watching all them guys. And then when I moved up here and I joined the squad, it's just a crazy feeling being a part of those guys and learning from them. Cameron Moore, I am a Dover Senator. I was young, probably seven. I um, got introduced it to um, Coach Robinson at Wim Harry Middle School. He told me to come out for his basketball team, AAU. And that's when it all began. I want to go pro. If I want to go pro, uh, I want to join the military. Jaim Harrell, and I am a Dover Senator. We'll be ready for it. You know, we get to play home. We get, we get a chance to, you know, defend our own turf again. Uh, we get a chance to compete for another conference championship, but that's all you can ask. It's another game to be with this group. With the win, the Senators cemented themselves as the top dog in the Northern Conference. They prepared to clash with the young Laurel Bulldogs team that clinched the Southern title. They were at our game, you know. You know what? We had some people, you know, they're hearing some things that were being said. So, so you know. It'll be the North versus the South, and we'll, that'll be a decided which final champion is of our conference. But prior to the game, the Bulldogs called out Elijah Allen. On Instagram, somebody sent it to me. I was like, this, this, you know. I was like, hold on. Which fueled Allen and the Senators to not only win the conference, but to do so in dominant fashion. I just know people better put respect on my name. That's it. <laughs> we wanted to prove we were the best team in the in the conference again. You know, and these these seniors are going to be able to take that with them for the rest of their life. It's not about you. You're doing this for people like Tyrell Moses, Jason Wolford, Kendall Williams, Corey Crawford, Jordan Allen, Peter Prinzolo. And if you don't know who those people are, those people that play before you and put the blue on that bleeds that blue. You understand what I'm saying? Tyrell Moses, nice. Yeah, word has it. Rolling Foreman, my thought Rolling Foreman. All right, ladies, we appreciate you so much for what you do. Started varsity all four years of um, Dover High basketball. Graduated in 2004. Um, all, all state player. Thousand point score here at Dover High School. I made it to the championship myself in 2003. Came up short like last year. So it seemed like I wanted more than them because I needed a championship. It's like it's, it's like I, I really want it. So it is, and, and it's great to come out here to, to be a part of this. You know, not 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 playing but being a coach. And it's like I be in the game sometimes. <laughs> My name is Tyrell Moses, and I am a Dover Senator. I left Dover High School. Uh, I went to Dream College. I went to uh, Baltimore City Community College, uh, Division One Junior College. Uh, then after that, uh, transferred to Delaware State University. Finished out my last two years there. Uh, after Delaware State, uh, went overseas, played a couple years overseas, and uh, you know, still on this journey as, as I am today. My name is Kendall Williams, and I am a Dover Senator. I tried out for basketball, middle school. I got cut six. No, seventh grade and eighth grade I got cut. Ninth grade that summer I just worked hard and then I made Dover freshman team. And then last year I played JV and now I'm on varsity. Like I used to have YouTube and I used to make videos and edit and stuff. It was pretty fun. 
Caesar Gilbert, and I am a Dover Senator. Fellas, you know the Sanford was here, right? Yes, yeah. sir. Yo, you cannot get to Sanford without beating Hodson or Seifert. Coach, we're not even worried about that. We just worried about it. Second That's who we got to play, Juan Yates, Hodson or Seifert. The Senators faced off against Seifert in the second round of the playoffs. I know where you were at. I knew mentally you weren't going to be here. So it was my job to coach you. There was a game day uh, that those boys played uh, that night, and that day they had buried a friend. A classmate that um, was no longer at Dover High School at the time, but had grown up with the kids. They were part of this class. And um, I remember that game uh, very vividly. Uh, the kids were definitely not on their A game that day, um, which many people probably didn't know in that moment in time what had happened hours prior. Saturday at 6 o'clock is your ticket to get to the bus. And it's going to be one of the hardest games of your life. You're 32 minutes away from taking that bus ride. But that bus ride ain't good enough for us. We got unfinished business. Now in the quarterfinals, they took on a Silesianum team that demolished their opponents in the last round by 27 points. We are rebounding secure. You got to secure. Nobody believed in that Jimmy was going to come back 17 to 4. It was a team effort. It wasn't one person. It was everybody that was on that bench. my finals man I just gave you my all I gave you everything that I got everything that I got and I know you gave it to me too way to close out the last time in this damn chance boys I love y'all the senators were en route to the bob but little did they know that their chance at redemption would be taken away from them I'd be happy for the senators that we get to get on the bus ride I guess Rudy Gobert had tested positive and we get to go to the state semifinals that game was suspended right before tip-off. Tell us you're 32 minutes away to getting back to the championship, man. Because this is obviously new territory. This is certainly a black swan event. We're 32 minutes away from giving ourselves a chance to get a ring. I will soon be taking emergency action. We're, we're, we're trying to keep your senior season alive. Which is unprecedented. This is what it's all about, is let your seniors play. As COVID-19 spread throughout the globe, the sports world found itself affected not only on the national level, but right here on the Eastern Shore. First, it was announced that the Delaware semifinals would be held with no fans. It's kind of hard for me not having any fans, but especially the crowd. The crowd gets us into it a lot too, especially when we meet a lot of big plays, highlight plays, the crowd really gets into it. But as the situation around the world became more and more serious. We're hoping that we're able to play and we're able to finish off this journey in the right way, but if not, you know, this out of our control, but we just are praying that we're able to finish off and do what we need to do. The Dover Senators saw their season come to an abrupt end. I'm kind of shocked about everything that's going on. The Senators were named co-champions alongside the remaining teams as the tournament was canceled. And while the COVID-19 pandemic is bigger than basketball, it does not negate the countless hours of work in the gym. You're back right now. On the court. This business again. Or on the road. Good. Be back at it tomorrow. Yes, sir. Stand by, take a lunch, bro. Yes, sir. As the Senators gave it their all. They brought together the capital of the first state to believe in them. And 
even though this is a bittersweet ending, there is one thing that's for sure. They are champions. Congratulations to Dover on a remarkable season. Nothing in life is accomplished without luck. Hard work. What? Yes. Yes. Stand me on three. One, two, three. Yes. Four, five, six. Yes. Yes. Suck it up. Yo, I, I, I made it your choice. I could have sat you out, but as a team, I'm going to show the respect that you deserve. If you said you couldn't go, I was going to take you out. I'm not worrying about Saturday. I'm worrying about now. Now we got to worry about Saturday. We did this thing a little bit because, you know, I got uh, those guys the same for like Nana, Jair, Haas, and Corey. Those are my guys, so, you know, I talk to them on the daily. They call me, ask me. Y'all really think y'all were going to be there this year? You know, they just keep it going. But, you know, I know what it is. I tell them what it is. You was going for charge. Yeah, you too. You know what, Marco? Oh, man. You can hear that. I'm going to get you. Why oh, you drop it, bro? Oh, oh, who did that drop you, bro? Yo, oh, drop you, Wanye. Eh? Why you want to stay there because you're arguing with another person? Man, Kill us. Get in the middle and hug me. Yeah, hug him, too. Hey. You know what? Yo, drop you up. Yeah. Chop me up. Let's get it, yo. See? <laughs> see? Yo, stop. Why didn't stay in that middle? Shamir, give him a hug. Because you're arguing with him, too. And see. <laughs> she might give him a hug. Oh, stop. Why didn't stay in that middle? Hug oh, she. There you go. Hug oh, she. Oh, no, one more. Six. Come on in the middle. Okay. <laughs> no. Now you understand? <laughs> now, why didn't you notice you're going to see? So to see, um, the fact that we have a community that really rallied and the vibe from the community was so um, impactful to just our school climate um, for that year and, and to the students and, and to the kids. And we're just super proud of them. Uh, they are definitely uh, gonna go down in history for us at Dover High School. I never did it before in a game. I feel happy. Me and my me and my teammates would work on it every day at practice. Finally I brought it out in the game today. I'm proud of this team. And I'm not proud about the, about just the W. I'm proud about how we're loving each other. I'm proud about how we're caring about each other. <laughs> Let's go lock up. <laughs> Sorry, y'all, I apologize. I'm just... Shout out, mama. Shout me out. Shout out, overtime. Yo, shout out. I love my team. I love my team, man. You're the hardest working team in the country. Don't change it. Practice at 2.30. One game away from getting them boys. You know what we want.